Whenever you're ready. Hi, this is Rod Evans, and I want to talk to you today uh, about brain friendly food and dietary supplements. Well, first, you need to know that, as you've been told, that you should drink at least eight to ten glasses of water daily. You should also eat a diet of whole foods, including plenty of raw vegetables such as cucumbers, broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower. If you don't want to buy and cut up individual vegetables, go to a salad bar at the grocery store and try to get as many colored fruits and vegetables in your salad as possible. Reduce simple carbs, including sugar and candy, but don't avoid complex carbs, including apples. You need a well-balanced diet and your brain craves glucose. Eat a balanced breakfast. Students who consistently eat breakfast often outperform non-breakfast eaters on exams. Besides giving you valuable nutrients, breakfast can protect you against low blood sugar, known to affect memory, concentration, and thinking. You want a breakfast balanced in protein, carbs, and good fats. Eating beans for breakfast is very good. If you don't have gluten sensitivity, beans on or with whole wheat toast would be a good breakfast. If you eat animal products, consider two hard-boiled eggs or egg whites and an apple. Alternatively, consider peanut butter on, whole, on a whole grain muffin. Let's talk now about dietary supplements. Ideally, you should have a blood test to determine that whether you are deficient in minerals or vitamins. Many people are deficient in vitamin D and many uh, people are deficient in the B vitamins. Many of us don't get enough sun and fresh air because we know that sun is very good for vitamin D. By the way, walking outside for 30 to 60 minutes a day and looking into the distance every 20 minutes are great for your mental and physical health. Many people can also use a multivitamin. Let's now consider dietary supplements to take before a test or some other mental challenge. Let me also include a qualifier. Because each person has an individual biochemistry and because many people have medical conditions for which they are taking medicines, we encourage people to talk with their doctors and or pharmacists before regularly taking dietary supplements. After having made that qualification, we shall talk briefly about something called a cognitive cocktail in a book we recommend called Brain Fitness whose primary author is Robert Goldman, MD, PhD. Here is Dr. Bob's Cognitive Cocktail. It includes acetyl-L-carnitine, 500 milligrams. You may actually want to get acetyl-L-carnitine arginate because that may be even more effective. Caffeine, 200 milligrams. Vitamin B complex, 100 milligrams. The hormone pregnenolone 50 milligrams, green tea one cup, um, and you, we suppose however that you could also uh, take capsules, glucose one tablespoon in the green tea or in glucose lozenges. Why those supplements? Acetyl-L-carnitine, sometimes known as Alcar, a natural compound, improves the energy exchange between cells and strengthens cellular communication between the brain's right and left hemisphere. Alcar also has been shown in studies to noticeably improve the thinking skills of older people. Further, according to some scientists, acetyl-L-carnitine can increase the formation of brain cells in the hippocampus. This is called hippocampal neurogenesis, improving memory. By the way, regular aerobic exercise is another way to produce neurogenesis. Caffeine stimulates people and helps them focus, possibly increasing reaction time as on video games. Vitamin B complex guards against nutritional deficiencies that can slow down thinking. Some B vitamins can help circulation in the brain and B12 guards against memory impairment. 
Pregnenolone is a steroid hormone precursor used to make DHEA and other hormones. Pregnenolone has been called a smart drug because it appears to improve memory without obvious side effects. One way to get glucose is to use it to, to sweeten green tea. In fact, Dr. Robert Goldman suggests washing down the capsules or pills with a cup of green tea, which is full of antioxidants. Now let's sum up. Drink at least 8 to 10 glasses of water a day. Eat lots of whole foods, especially fresh fruits and veggies. Eat high quality protein, such as what is found in tuna fish, chicken, hard boiled eggs, or protein shakes. Eat complex carbs, such as apples, sweet potatoes, or oatmeal. Let's talk now about another cognitive cocktail. In his excellent book, How to Ace Your Way Through College and Still Have a Life, David Kennedy recommends the following drink, which will take about three minutes to make. The ingredients, one cup of cold water, one scoop, about 24 grams of protein, two tablespoons of frozen orange juice concentrate, 10 frozen blueberries, five grams of creatine powder, and three ice cubes. The directions, pour cold water into a blender, then add protein powder and blend on medium speed for about 15 seconds. Then add frozen orange juice concentrate, blueberries and creatine. Blend 30 more seconds, add ice cubes and blend on high speed until smooth, about 30 more seconds. Then finally pour into a glass. Why creatine? We know that many athletes, including bodybuilders and weightlifters, use creatine. We are now increasingly learning that creatine is valuable for mental work as well. Supplementing with creatine can give a boost to working memory and general intelligence. Creatine plays a pivotal role in maintaining energy levels in the brain. Giving research subjects, in other words, human beings, Five grams of creatine a day for six weeks increase their ability to recall long numbers and their mental speed. Another brain-friendly nutrient is tyrosine. If you aren't on meds, especially heart meds, you may want to look into the amino acid tyrosine, a direct precursor to the, to the neurotransmitters dopamine, norepinephrine, and epinephrine. Physical and mental stress, including studying, can lead to decreases in norepinephrine levels in the brain. And norepinephrine is an important neurotransmitter in muscular contraction, mental focus, and motivation. When people are running low on norepinephrine because of stressful events, their cognitive performance can decline. Supplementing with tyrosine can restore norepinephrine levels and boost brain power. The military has studied tyrosine as a way to delay fatigue and sharpen focus. Although some studies have used a 3 gram dose of tyrosine to increase strength and endurance, we strongly recommend talking with your physician and or pharmacist before using that dose. David Kennedy uh, in his excellent book, How to Ace Your Way Through College and Still Have a Life, suggests taking 500 milligrams to 1,000 milligrams 30 minutes before studying. To conclude, we think that if you apply even some of these dietary suggestions, you'll notice a definite improvement in your thinking and energy level.